This is a WBZ News update. I'm Julie McDonald with some of our top stories. Boston police are investigating a fatal shooting in Hyde Park. The suspect ran up to the passenger side of a car on Fraser Street and fired multiple times. A man in his 20s died at the hospital. The police commissioner says that victim was targeted. Now they're asking anyone with information to call police. A state trooper hurt in an overnight crash on 93 in Stoneham. Police say that he was helping a disabled vehicle when his cruiser was hit from behind. It happened around 2.30 this morning. That trooper was taken to Winchester Hospital with back, back and neck injuries. The driver did stay on the scene. So far, there are no charges. The cause of that crash is still under investigation. Mayor Marty Walsh is expanding the Boston Police body camera program. According to The Globe, the mayor has set aside $2 million to get this program started. Right now, the cameras are being tested in a one-year pilot program to see how officers and the public respond. The mayor hopes to have more officers using the body cameras as soon as July. And now let's send things over to meteorologist Barry Burbrink. Hi, Julie. Hi, everybody. Here's what's going on at Fenway Park this afternoon. Uh, the socks are red hot, but the weather is not. It's rather chilly there, and it'll only be around 43 degrees at first pitch around 1 o'clock. It's certainly going to be a bright afternoon, just a few clouds around a north-northwest breeze at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So these will be highs across most of the region, mostly mid-40s should do it. The outer part of the Cape may be somewhat chillier, low 40s to near 40 out there. Well, the gustier wind near the Cape, closer to that storm center offshore, which is moving away from us. And there it goes. It was rather cloudy here earlier this morning. The cloudiness has thinned out quite a bit. We'll have some sunshine this afternoon. This next weather system coming down from the northwest. So we'll have a little bit of cloudiness here, some height and cloudiness around by through midday. But for the most part, it turns rather sunny until we get some of these puffier clouds coming down from the northwest late this afternoon this evening. And some of those could produce a brief sprinkle or a snow shower in some spots in this rather cold air. Then it gets pretty cold tonight. Temperatures fall down into the 20s again by dawn and the wind will drop off as well and then we'll start rising up tomorrow with the sky becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. So overall, some quiet weather ahead. Now, Tuesday, there could be a few showers, mostly rain, maybe some snow in the higher elevations. That's Tuesday. Then we get to Thursday, we get another batch of showers. We may turn pretty warm here on Friday, assuming that front holds up. And then we'll have to watch next weekend because there could be a big rainmaker. And um, it's tough to say whether it's going to be Sunday or hopefully not Marathon Monday, but there's a possibility of that happening. That's your forecast for the next seven days. Gradually warming up the second half of the week when we get some of those rain showers on Thursday. That's it for now. Back to you, Julie. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Barry. I'm Julie McDonald. This has been a WBZ News Update.